Hey YouTube, this is Pokecast XVII here and today we're going to be looking at a deck that's been doing extremely well in our current meta game and also a deck that won the World Championships and that deck is Gardevoir GX. When Gardevoir first initially came out, players were certainly aware of its potential but wasn't sure that if on the surface if it was just a novelty deck or not. Let's have a look at Gardevoir. Gardevoir GX is a stage 2 Pokemon with 230 HP, a weakness to metal with a minus 20 resistance to darkness, 2 retreat cost and an ability with 2 attacks including its GX attack. Its attack and infinite force deals 30 damage, plus 30 more for every energy attached to both active Pokemon. As you can imagine, this can rack up some pretty big numbers, especially as you continue to keep attaching energy to your Gardevoir. When you pair that with Gardevoir's ability Secret Spring, which allows you once during your turn before you attack, to attach a fairy energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, this certainly it can be quite intimidating to play against. What's great about Secret Spring is that it stacks, so this means that if you have more than one Gardevoir out, you can use the abilities as many times as you have Gardevoirs. Gardevoir also has a really interesting GX attack in Twilight GX, which allows you to take 10 cards from your discard pile and put them back into your deck. When you consider that we don't have anything like VS Seeker in the format, this is a great way of getting back more supporter cards into your deck, and of course does wonders against decks like Garbodor, when you can recycle item cards effectively making Trash Alliance null and void. Another viable Pokemon that you you can play is Gallade from Breakthrough since it is a non-EX GX attacker but also adds a lot of consistency to the deck with its ability Premonition. Premonition allows you to look at the top 5 cards of your deck and rearrange them in any way that you please before putting them back. Its attack in Sensitive Blade deals a solid 60 damage plus 70 more if you've played a supporter card this turn totaling 130 damage and if you add a choice band to the equation you can hit 160 damage. Gallade also offers another weakness in Psychic while also being able to one shot Pokemon like Drampa GX and Zoroark which is pretty useful if the new Zoroark GX starts to see more play. Another Pokemon that you can also include for support and that does see quite a bit of play is Octillery from Breakthrough which allows you to draw until you have up to 5 cards in your hand. Not only does this give you an out to a late game N but also combos very nicely with Gallade's Premonition since you can rearrange the cards in whichever way you please and then just draw into them with Octillery's Abyssal Hand. And that really is the purpose of the deck, to stack a load of energy onto your Gardevoir with Secret Spring, and then hit for some pretty hefty numbers. With that said, let's go into a breakdown of a Skeleton and see what a generic build looks like. As you can see, the list is pretty generic, however there are some notable inclusions. Deancey is a great starter to have especially if you're going second, as it can capitalise on your opponent being able to hit a turn 2 rare candy with its attack, Sparkling Wish, since it evolves one of your Pokemon right off the bat, even if you just put that Pokemon in play through the effect of the attack. The the emphasis on Tapu Lele GX is pretty prominent since you do run Skylar which searches you out the missing piece of the puzzle and grabbing something like a rare candy to hit a turn 2 Gardevoir. And of course you also have the option of a turn 1 Bridget which again can be searched out through Tapu Lele GX which is pretty much your ideal turn 1 supporter as it does enhance your options of getting out Gardevoir as soon as possible. As for the energy you do run Double Colorless since it does compensate for 2 energy and helps you rack up that damage with infinite force as well as fueling for sensitive blade in a single turn. With that you do also have the option of attacking with Tapu Lele GX. Two Field Blower is pretty much a staple since this deck is hurt quite a lot by Ability Lock from Garbodor and you also have the option of recovery cards such as a Rescue Stretcher, Super Rod and even something like a Brock's Grit could be a consideration. Some other things that you could potentially include include Professor's Letter since it does help you get those energy into your hand to use with Secret Spring and of course Alone of Volpix for the early game setup since its Beacon Attack does have a slightly different effect to Deancey's Sparkling Wish since it does get you out an additional Pokemon totaling 2 for no energy although doing so this does go directly into your hand and doesn't like Deancey evolve your Pokemon immediately. Some builds have also been known to run Sylveon GX since the two both function off the same energy and is a pretty solid attacker in its own right. It is a very good Pokemon going second on your first turn since if you attach a fairy energy to Eevee with its ability energy evolution that then allows you to get out Sylveon and then you can use magical ribbon searching out for any three cards. With that said Sylveon also gives you another GX attack in Plea. All of his attacks easily powered up since you are already running double colorless energy. Keep in mind that both with Sylveon and Vulpix that you are susceptible to an end being played, which is why some people prefer Deancey for that reason, but either way, it certainly does leave the deck open for interpretation however you want to play it. And with all that said, that is it, and that is Gardevoir GX all concluded for you. If you did like this video and you would like to see more Pokemon related content, all you have to do is click the annotations at the end of this video. Alternatively, you can subscribe to the channel, and not forgetting that I'm also on Facebook, I will put all the links within the description box below. Otherwise, thank you again very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.